She's waiting. I'm sorry you had to wait, Own. But the queen, the queen is here. Own Scoggins, ladies and gentlemen. Coming off of a, what was it? A 25 stroke win? I don't, I didn't even know that was, I thought that was a misprint. Uh, or I thought you somehow got to play more holes than everyone else. Own, thank you so much for taking the time to jump on tonight. How are you doing? Good. Thank you for having me. Um, we have a pretty bad weather out here, like tor tornado warning. So you guys can see it's like windy, and we have to keep the eye on until like eight or nine o'clock tonight. I was gonna say, are you are you in the eye of the storm right now? Well, I'm keep the eye on because if anything like. Looking not good. I'll be driving out. Like, I'm just kind of keep my eye on him. Like, okay, well, yeah, what's if, going you, on here? if you, I was going to say, you look like you're ready for a storm chaser tonight. Um, yeah. so yeah, if you need to get, if you need to get out, by all means, definitely get out. We will, we will reschedule this, but hopefully, hopefully the, the storm misses you and everything is safe over there. I know, I know that is kind of crazy. So, first thing, oh, I hope so too. Um, yeah. just tell me, like, like what did it how did it feel going into that tournament and and just playing i mean did you did you play incredibly well i'm assuming you did um you know just feeling like it's like another tournament um i have to do it and i have to get it done and i think we play five and a half round and overall i think my rating total was 996 per round i think um you know um i don't know um maybe the cost the, the course is um good for me and i i make uh, a lot of putt out there except when it's like super windy and i call it missing here and there but overall it's just uh i make less mistake than a lot of people i guess a lot a lot less mistakes for sure um how was how was that transition going from the beaver state fling a tournament that you know we talked about and we can maybe talk about a little bit more but we talked about last week how it really looked like yours to win coming down the stretch how was it to be able to you know, quickly right the ship and go out and take care of business the next week. Was that, was that, I mean, that has to be great to feel. Um, you know, at the Beaver State Fring, it just, uh, it was very close one. It's very close one. And, you know, I make a mistake, unfortunate, um, because from the nervous and all kinds of thing and poor decision and, you know, um, go to, uh, Two whole lap, and of course I make a big mistake on hole 17, and on top of that with Holin just make a big big putt, and and she played great at the end of the day. So, you know, and of course I lost, but I'm I'm still very happy with second place. Uh, compared with we almost have like 50 women out there, and and I'm I'm not young anymore, and and I still like almost have a chance to win. As uh, for me, it's just a blessing. And from that, and then go to um, Pro Master, it's, it's just no, not big deal at all compared with that Beaver State Fring. It's just super competitor and there's a lot of challenging. Um, and then when we go to World Master, we only have 13, pretty much just like five of us, like me, Jane, and Stephanie, and Kari, you know, um, so four or five of us. And, so for me, I'm kind of like more relaxing, and mm. and when you relaxing, and then you 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 play better, I believe. So, yeah. When uh when did you start kind of this uh you know the final round of Beaver State thing? You had multiple putts where you're almost like pumping yourself up before the putt even goes in. When where where did that come from? Is that something that you just recently started? Because I don't remember you doing that in the past. I think you guys just not seeing it. Um, I always. Well, I definitely don't very... watch FPO. That is for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always just like pump up myself. I'm always talk to myself. I'm always like, come on, on, you can do it. Like, I'm always share myself. You know, mm -hmm. In, you know, I always share people, but of course, on top of that, I love to share myself. Like, I like to talk to myself. I like to pipe myself up, like from excitement and 
when I make a big part, I love to celebrate myself. Everything, when I throw good, when I make a big part, I never be shy to be like, hold on this part, uh, you know, just another part, just another throw, <laughs> like, I've done this so many times. No, I always celebrate. I don't care, like, how many parts I make that day. When it's in, I love to celebrate, no matter what, so. Well, I was talking always. about the ones specifically that, and maybe maybe the mics are getting better on tour. I was talking about the ones that you were, like, saying in the middle of the air. Because I I've seen you obviously oh. get jacked up after you make a big putt. You were like literally being like, "Come on, own!" as the putt's like flying in the air, <laughs> which is to me like kind of scary because it's like if you miss that putt, you kind of look like an idiot. But uh, <laughs> you drained both of the two that you did. It was incredible. Got the crowd fired up. It was awesome. Um, you know what? When you practice putt a lot and you play so many tournaments. And it's some kind of that moment when you release out of your hand. You just know. Like you 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 know it. <laughs> you know it. You see your lie of the putting go. And on that moment, I know that's going to be in because, of course, I'm careful. Like, if, if it's not in, I'm probably not going to be piped up, you know. But because I'm putting so many times, when I release it, the, the putting just go what I think it should be. And then that's why I was like, oh yeah, that's going to be in. So I already know on when I release, that's why I'm like, oh, let's celebrate. Come on. <laughs> How can you not celebrate your, 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 your long part or, or good part? I don't understand. Sometimes you see people like when they make the part, they're just like, okay, you know, just, uh, just make the part, you know, well, what like, do you, come yeah, on. What do you do think that? Yeah, what do you think that is? Because, you know, we saw you and Holland both show a lot of emotion coming down to that stretch. And that, to me, that's what made me want to dial, like, watch every single second because it was so interesting. Um, do you think there are, you know, FPO players out there that are nervous to put themselves out there? Like, I'm sure you hang out with them more behind the cameras and off camera. Like, are some people you feel, like, more reserved when they're playing than when they aren't playing? Like, are they scared to show their personality? Um, some of them might. Some of them just might like to hiding their feeling um, to just, like, poke a face, you know? Like, uh, mm. inside them, I'm pretty sure inside them, they're excited, they, they, they're happy, but outside, they just kind of, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but me and Holin on that moment, we we just like to show our emotional. I think it's more fun that way. When you show your emotional, I think uh, make make the cloud excitement, uh, make people watching like not boring. Uh, and also, I think it's healthy for you because you release you release your excitement out. You release your happiness, uh, or even you sad. Even you said, I feel like don't be shy to be sad. You know, like I feel like we need to be true to ourselves. Like on that moment, you know, um, when you're happy or you're sad, I feel like it's okay to show our emotional in this game. I think it's more fun uh, to to watch and more excitement. So, um, so me and Holly and we do exactly on that day. We just like come up, we like yeah, let's go. You know, and I think the crowd love it. I, I think that. They love to see that. It's not just only I make the part. It's just like, okay, it's just another day, you know. Um, yeah, the crowd was just getting insane, you know. Yeah. They, they love it, so. Yeah, I think I think that's something that I try to put across to as many people that are willing to listen is if you want to be a professional disc golfer and make a living playing disc golf, the number one thing you have to remember is this is an entertainment sport. Like people are tuning in to be entertained. And if you just go out there and you just like robot the whole way, a lot, like that's just not entertaining. People don't like to see that. Um, and so I, I, yeah, I don't know. I just think, I mean, Yuli, what do you, if you're kind of like in the middle, I would say, I don't, I wouldn't say you're, like to the point of where own is, but I also don't think you're a robot when you play. What, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, we might have Yuli's audio. Did we lose his audio? Oh, I, had, I had my, oh. I had, 
I had myself on mute. Oh, you're um, good. I think for some people that it's a tough line to kind of, to kind of walk on because like for myself, I know that when I have that high energy, I lose a little something. Mm. So if I get super excited, then all of a sudden on the next one, maybe my focus is taken away. And so sometimes I try to walk like a nice line of, yeah, when I make a good putt, have a little fist pump, but don't get too excited because you know, it's, it's business. Like one of the good um, representations of that was, is like Nicholas Antala when he made his putt to win his first pro tour, Yes, like that guy's stoic, but in the moment when it's over, it's time to celebrate and have fun. And some, some athletes are different in, in those cases when I'm practicing, and I'm playing like a money round or something, or if I'm playing skins, you'll see that side of me come out a lot more to where I'm talking a little trash. I'm getting excited. I'm getting pumped up and I'm able to kind of stay on that, on that stream. But when the pressure gets on to me, I really have to focus on like keeping my, my nerves down a little bit. And I think a lot of people are like me in that sense. Yeah. How do you keep your energy throughout an entire tournament own? How, how do you keep that? Um, how do you keep that from you know round one all the way to the final round? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, I I let the person have a lot of energy, and it doesn't matter every day for me. It's just the same. It just you guys see me like even I play like pro tour championship. Like I'm dealing with forty five thousand dollars last year, but. I'm, I, I just like kind of different because um, if I'm too serious for myself, if I play serious, like too serious, I lost my mind. I I just could not play well. I For me, it's just like it's, it's too intense. So I like to be, have some moment. I, I take some focus and, and then sometimes I like to be chit chat or, um, but the end of the day, I have so much energy to, to kill it, you know, um, uh, and some people just, uh, some people just have a low energy, but me, I can kind of like keep going, keep going, you know, um, depend on, uh, depend on who you are. Um, you need to know yourself. Like I know myself very well and, and if whatever is, is work for you, um, is, is work for you. Uh, so for me, I just like to be chill out when I play in yeah. How does that work when you maybe have a card with like three low energy people that are stoic and like to stay to themselves and <laughs> you're not able, you're not able to maybe say like, Hey, energy. I don't know. <laughs> like, is that, is that where it's super helpful to have like your caddy with you and have someone that you can bounce off your energy with? Cause you're not going to be able to chit chat with them. Right? Like what if they're like, Oh, and I don't want to talk to you this round. <laughs> and you're not and you're not able to have yeah. that like fun vibe with your card mates. It, like how how is that how does how do you handle that? Well, here's the thing, if I don't have caddy or if I play with the people who doesn't want to talk to me, fine, no problem. I can talk with the people like follow up. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd, I can always say hi or can be like, hey, you know, here and there. Like, um I love to no matter what, I love to entertain myself. Um, even at home, when I'm at home, I'm not going anywhere. I always find something to entertain myself. Um, I never get boring, even I'm by myself. Um, I feel like, uh, or sometimes I just look at here, look at there, and pick up the flower. Or, who knows, maybe talk to myself, you know, during the round, even no one want to talk to me. I'm like, Play, whatever, you know, I can talk to myself. Yeah, I remember at the... I rem so, Oh, go I, ahead. Sorry. Uh -huh. no, oh, I was no, going to say, I remember ahead. during the Beaver State fling, I can't remember exactly what hole it was. Um, gosh, what hole? I can't remember what the number, I can't remember what the number of the hole was, but I think you like double bogeyed it or something in the final round. And then uh, you went, the next hole was the par four. That's like the second shot or the, I guess it's the par five for you guys where you throw your, you throw your sh third shot kind of over the street. Uh, you know what I'm talking? Do you kind of know what I'm talking about? There was a hole. There was a hole in the final day where I think you double bogeyed or it's something. Hole seven. Oh, it's a hole four. Yeah, it's I think it was. Hole four. I, I got seven. I got yes. seven. 
Yes. Yeah, and I you, think hole four, so I got seven on that one. Yeah, and then the next tee shot, you throw your tee shot, and you're walking down the fairway, and you, like, pluck a flower as you're walking down the fairway, and you start, like, playing with the flower. Like, I think a lot of people in that position, you would see them maybe just start faltering or for, uh, going to be like, hey, it's not my day today. I'm not supposed to win this thing. See ya later. And you battled back. You battled back to get all those strokes. I think you lost like three or four strokes all in that one hole. Um, and you, and you battled yourself back to where you put yourself in contention to win. So like, if you could give advice out to some people listening right now, because we have almost a thousand people listening, um, we have a lot of people that go out and play, you know, tournaments, and they might have a bad hole. And they just let that bad hole ruin the rest of their round. What's something that you can, what advice can you give those people to be like, Hey, snap out of it. Um, here's the thing. I feel like on, on whatever, when I make a big mistake on some hole and I always thinking, Oh, you know, if I make a mistake, people will make a mistake too. Um, and that's why it's kind of like, it's kind of like it's not a big deal for me because uh, I done I done I done the most I can, and if I make a mistake, it's fine because I I put I put a lot of work on it already, and I I like to forgive myself. Even I make a big mistake on that time, I'm like, hey, you know, I love myself so much, and I forgive myself to be move on and be and be still happy and have a hope. I feel like it is no way you can make a you can make a perfect game every time or never be bulky or double bulky. It's no way. So that's why I feel like it's, it's why, why not? Like when, when you work so hard and then if you make some mistake, why not? You just, how can you not forgive myself to, 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 to move on to the next hole because another hole you can birdie. And if you're not winning, it's fine. But if you win, it's, it's great. You know, um, I feel like it's not a big deal. There's a lot of things we can, go through life this is just small thing in our life i feel like you, we, we need to know that like this golf or whatever we make mistake right now or today it's not a big deal uh it's a lot of thing a lot of things waiting for us to like the big deal like in, in our our life we will go through a lot of tougher life mm -hmm. so that's why this is just small thing you can go through that's why just move on um a lot of Thing challenging waiting for you in the future so that's that's how i think that's why i'm like eh, you know move on <laughs> find a four-leaf clover and enjoy it <laughs> yeah oh. so a, a flower and so i can blow and then it's just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah okay i gotta ask this not just an fpo in the entire disc golf pro tour where are you putting yourself as far as circle one, circle two putting? The top 10? What is like that? What, like, yeah, what, like, um, so, 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 like, putting, where are you, uh, where are you, man, where, man and woman? Yeah, where are you ranking yourself? Oh, top 50%, I think. Top 50? Top 50% of man and woman. Yeah, you know. Oh. I, I mean, here's the thing. Go ahead, put you high. <laughs> Here's the thing, maybe for from woman, I might I might keep myself maybe top top eight or top nine. But oh, for the oh, man, I gotta stop oh. you. Wait. Oh, oh, oh who wait, stop. <laughs> oh who <laughs> guys right now we have a lot of girls who like working their ass off and then they're partying so good right now and that's I'll great myself, maybe top eight that's i love <laughs> that there's people out there that are working hard i appreciate yeah. that all right I, yeah, we got and then we got, I got to uh -huh. stop you. We got Edwin stats saying, show her stats, show her stats. So we're going to, we're going to pull this up. This is okay. your, uh, what we call like our Madden rankings. This is based off of your statistics. The only one that is, um, the only one that's kind of user generated is the power. Cause there's no way of like having a statistics for that. Your scoring is 97. Your power, Ooh. your power is 80. <laughs> 
Your accuracy is 90. Your scramble is 99. And your putting is 99. Oh, and that's, that's the highest. There's no one higher than 99. And I don't think we've had an MPO player on the podcast that has a putting of 99 either. So when you say you're... Uh, I'll ask again. I'll ask again. Out of MPO and FPO, out of everyone, where would you put yourself in putting? Okay. All right, then. Um... Top four, okay, top four for women, and then maybe top top twenty five of the men. How okay. about that? Okay. <laughs> the, I still think I still think oh, you. Like, I, I don't know who these women 30. are better. You. I, I I need to see who these people are that better you putting. But um. I mean, um, here's the thing. I I watched some uh, I watched some men play. They just could not meet. They they just make everything. It's. Hmm. I don't know, maybe they have a longer arm or <laughs> I don't know. But when I watch them play, I say, wow, they just make like circle two like nothing. And I still could not do like that. Yeah. And so that's why I was like, man, I, I have a lot of things to learn from them. Uh, maybe our body is different too, uh, but man, they make it look so easy. And for us women, yeah, I think I can keep myself top five. I think it's fair. Yeah. I, you, I, know, did, this for, I know this for a fact. <laughs> There is a lot of MPO players on the pro tour who would trade their putt with you yes. in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah. It, oh, just like this. It? Boom. Oh, a thousand percent. Uh, yeah. Well, thank yeah. you so much, guy. You guys are so nice. So. <laughs> um, let's switch a little bit to like course design now. How do you how do you feel course design is going for the FPO division? Do you like the direction it's headed? Um, to be honest, I feel like I, right now we, we, we kind of like go to the golf ball a lot, uh, because I haven't played this golf for a long time. Um, most of the time we play in the woody or some, some old tournament, I go back, uh, or maybe some pro tour, I, I go back. So now they add golf ball on it and it's, it's. So it's not good for my game, but of course I understand um, if you want to make this golf to be more um, high volume, whatever you call, um, for theming, whatever. And of course they need to add here and there, but I, I'll be honest, I'm kind of missing um, golf wood, wood, wood course. Mm. Um, because that's how I start to play. Uh, but I totally understand and I'm working on it. And I try to play more uh, golf ball and, you know, um, but nothing I can do because it's now is this game is for a new generation. And I just, uh, something it's just like, um, for me is, um, it, it, it's not my time anymore. It's, it's for new generation for, for them to, to show up to, for them to like, they, some of them just throw so far. So, you know, the, the new, the new, new one probably love course like that. But for me, I'm personal, personal, uh, I love wood course and, and not just only golf ball. So that's, that's yeah. for me. <laughs> so. I got a question for that. Like you said, you've been playing a long time. Are you better now than you've ever been in your career? Do you think like, when you think about your own game, is this the best own that the world's ever seen? Um, to be honest, I feel like I play better than last, like long time ago. I feel mm -hmm. like I still, my game still improve. Um, my rating still up high. I feel like I still like can, can, um, approve my game. Um, I feel like every year I can do something or sometimes when I go back to the, the course I play like last year, I feel like some of them I could not worry, but maybe I made a long time, but for sure I feel I like can improve my game and I feel like I play better than last year I feel like um, but a lot of new girl that just play better too um, so so some of them still the same but I can see a lot of them was improve the game including myself too I, I know like I can I, I play better last year oh, do you remember the first time you i don't think you probably saw me but just in case you did do you remember the first time i got to watch you play i'm 
curious. I'm, I'm curious. I'm... What tournament is that? It was. It was back in 2020. What tournament is that? It was back in 2020. It was. Um, I don't remember the name of the tournament. You you probably can help me with the tournament name. It's the one where it's the. It's the very. It's like the very first disc golf course. Oh, over in at, California. Uh, is it Oak Grove? It Oak, Grove? Oak Grove, yeah. Oak Grove. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't, oh, wow. I don't know. I was there. I don't know if you knew that, but I, I was watching you. I don't know who you were playing with, but I watched you on, uh, yeah, Wintertime Open. There it is. I watched you on a couple oh. holes uh, way back, and that was my first time I got to watch you play uh, was all the way back in uh -huh. 2020. So it's, it's cool now to get to have you on here and talk to you uh, <laughs> in front of everyone. It's kind of like a full circle moment. But um, I think your outlook, too, on like how you just answered that question with, you know, the distance and everything. I think that's the right way of looking at it. I think we get a lot of people complaining about the courses we play or how the sport is going. And mm -hmm. I just remember too, it was, uh, the, the albatross, the albatross hole, uh, Philo. I don't know what hole that was on Beaver safe fling, but the commentators are basically yeah. saying that you were playing that hole for par. Like you, mm -hmm. you basically barely could get to the short grass you had, I think, Ella and Holland like throwing a hundred feet past you. And they're like, oh, Owen's just playing for par. And then you throw two more beautiful shots, make your putt and birdie it. Everyone birdies. And I think it really shows that you you could easily play like the victim role and be like, hey, these courses are set up to like not favor me at all. And you you're like trying to adapt your game. You're trying to throw farther. You're trying to like make you know, play certain holes for par, maybe the, to get the other birdies there when they're out there. And I, I don't know. I, I, I like that a lot that you're not playing like the victim of like, Hey, these courses need to be shorter. I don't have a chance to win out here. You're proving that you can increase your skills elsewhere and still, and still compete. Um, I feel like, um, if you play smart or if you know your game very well, like, and then adapt, adapt your game to the course and then figure it out um, where you want to land and also what's your next shot, whatever. I feel like you you can play good a lot of course, like most of them. Uh, for me, so I have to do that a lot, like a uh, Portland Open, Beaver State or Great Lake or OTB. Those was like, you need to throw like big arm or here and there. But I feel like sometimes if you play smart enough or accuracy, I think you you can play good. Um, I approve to a lot of people. You don't need to throw that far to to have a chance to win. Um, as long as you make your putt and and also like I I like to be humble when I play beach golf. I I I don't like to be just like oh I come here I'm gonna win. This is my. I, I never think that way. I like to prepare myself to. The high, the high point and the low point. So I like to walk to the court. Say, like, okay, let's see what I can do to this course. Let's see my game can, can, can choose, uh, can, can adapt to this course. And I don't like to cut anybody out. Like, oh, it's only me gonna win. I like to call everybody. Oh, maybe this person can win. This person can. Uh, this person can win. Like, I like to look around and. And and of course I'm not calm myself out, um, but I like to be humble when I play this golf because when you're humble, if you make mistake or if you if you lose or you win, it's it's you, the person you're gonna feel the most. Mm. If you go like with a high like energy, like oh god I win, and then when you lose, you you're gonna be the person is hurt the most. That's why I like to be in the middle. If I win, great. If I lose, it's okay, you know. Um, so the main thing is be humble because the course will always gonna beat you up. Is the course <laughs> gonna be teach you how to play this golf? So. <laughs> uh, by the way, our statistician Edwin Stats, you uh, just found out what your statistics would be for MPO. You would be top twenty-two. Oh, ha <laughs> ha! Let's go. <laughs> so, like we said, there's only a handful of people in the whole world that have better putting stats than you do. So, very, very impressive stuff. 
I think Very I was impressive. like, what they call it? I was like top 25 or, 20, uh, or 30, right? Well, initially you said 50%. And then you put you put yourself at like top ten in FPO. <laughs> um, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, where where are we going from here, Owen? Like, what's the uh, what's what's the five year plan? What are we what are we looking at here? Oh, you mean for this weekend? No, no, no. For for your career, like, what do you have any? any plans of slowing down or are you just like, Hey, until uh, I can't, until I can't throw anymore, I'm going to be traveling around playing disc golf tournaments. Okay. All right. I'm going to show you guys right now. Oh boy. Look at this face. You guys are going to see me for a long time because <laughs> yeah. I'm still healthy, you know, <laughs> I'm still healthy. Um, I turned 43. Um, I'm still, Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's nothing going to stop me from playing this golf, um, you know, because I play the way it should be. And and I I love this golf. I'm not push myself too much. And and because when you not put yourself too much in this golf, I feel like you're going to love this golf for a long time. That's how I do right now. Like, just not beat myself up in the disc golf. Just have some fun time here and there, enjoy something else. That's why I feel like I can still play this golf for a long time. And as long as I'm healthy, as long as I keep practicing, I think i still going to be up there. Or I have somebody sure you guys know that. I can still like play like 40, and i still probably going to be do great up there. So... No matter what, you're tired of my face or not, you're gonna see me long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, I know everyone watching right now is excited with that answer, so that's awesome. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, all right, uh, I gotta ask. This is something that we ask kind of all of our guests that come on here, and, and this might be a this might be a tough this might be the toughest question I ask all night. Pet peeves. So oh. this so something something that gets under your skin. Something that bothers you, uh -oh. something that you're just like, ah, I can't stand when this person does this. I don't like this. Some sort of oh. pet peeve in disc golf. If you if you could somehow muster one up. I mean the people I don't like. Uh -oh. what, what is it? The question is. So so like so a pet like, Yeah, go ahead, Yuli. So like a pet peeve would be like uh when I when I miss like a twenty five footer or something and somebody goes nice run and i'm like nice run what do you what do you mean i, bear, I just airballed it you know like oh. something like that yeah or someone someone that's like on oh, their yeah, yeah, someone yeah. that's like on their phone when it's their turn to throw on the tee and they're like oblivious and you're all just sitting around waiting for them being like yo it's your turn dude and they're like oh oh sorry I didn't. <laughs> oh um <laughs> Or sometimes uh, when I play disc golf, maybe that person don't know me very well or something. Sometimes I share, I share them, I share them and say, um, you know, good part or whatever. Or, but of course it's a good part. I'm not gonna say you missed the part and they say good part. <laughs> or, or sometimes he, you know, um, but um, the car like the car just like annoy. Annoy when 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 I, I share them. I think I think they they like to be quiet, or or sometimes they just like um what do you call um too intense. Uh, oh yeah. okay. And yeah. those I cannot stand is like wow. I just feel like is this this is your whole life on this golf. <laughs> when I look at them, wow, this is your whole life. You have to be this way. It's made me happy like. You look miserable, you know, like <laughs> this too serious, like oh, oh bitchy. Yeah, bitchy. Okay, bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that's that's yeah, definitely a word. Too bitchy, just like <laughs> yeah, oh, almost like a, this. They wake up, they all mad like this morning, and then they come like this. God is so mad, you know, like oh my god, like wow, this this is your whole life gonna be like this. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm not too serious person, but that was a little bit bother me. Just a like, man, but you know, what's a lot of people go through different things. We don't, we don't know what they've been through. Um, 
But for that moment, I'm like, man, wow, this is a big deal for you, huh? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I feel, like, I feel like I feel like Om could be like the perfect the perfect troll for some of these people that she plays against, being like, "Wow, this is like the biggest moment of your life. That's kind of sad." And yeah, they're just like, they're just, like that. they just like yeah. feel that into their heart. Just like the, God, suddenly ATL beat here. You know, they act like this is the end of the world. Like so, like pissed off or something. Like, wow, I I I play like pro tour three years in a row. I I end up with like. Um, two two second play two years in a row, and then I still like smiling and I still like give people like win big hug. I mean, come on, right? Like, <laughs> I show you this is not a big moment of my life. This is just another thing I have to go through, and you know. I got I gotta I gotta ask though. Do you yeah. do you see that changing at all? Hypothetically, let's say all of a sudden everything was a hundred X. So you're no longer playing for $10,000. You're now playing for a million dollars. Do you still see own being the happy go lucky walking down the fairway playing for a million dollars? Or do we see a different side of own if the money ever got to that point? You know what? It's probably just going to be who I am. I cannot change I cannot change myself. Um, even even I pay for a million because this is who I am. I have like this whole life, and I might be like more sad if I lost that one million. But like I said, I, it's it's not the end of my day. Um, I feel like I feel like I have so many things I I feel blessing to to have in my life. You know, I have a great relationship, great family. For me, that's more important. That's that's why it's it's make me so happy. I woke up. I was like, wow, I'm, I have a good life. You know, I have a good life. I have a people. Um, I'm surrounding with good people, and of course, my husband. He's 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 like a worth more than one million. Like he's he's <laughs> billion, billion. You know, like <laughs> that's why I that's why that's why I'm so happy. And then no matter what, I. I play for forty-five thousand or one million. I know, even I lost that, I'm still gonna be okay. Uh, because uh, I feel like uh, when you're happy, when you're happy, whatever you do, it's it's not the end of your day, you know, because you're already happy inside here. I don't know, you know, that's for me. So. Yeah, it's a great answer. Great answer. All right, Yuli, you got the final question. Okay, so out of all the women that you play with on tour whose game do you look at and you go you're a little jealous you're like man i wish i could do that or you're just in awe of something that they can accomplish on the course ah hey you know what i always look up to tata she's she's perfect she's she throw good she pat good she's good looking and i love her you know she's 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 a She's just a like working hard woman, and I look up. I'm like, wow, I, you know, I want to be like that. I want to, I want to throw far. I want to, I want to have like such a good game, just like she has, because she's so successful. And and in on top of that, she's a good person. You know, I, I um, she's just a um, good person, beautiful and and good heart, and she's gonna be the person I always looking up to and. And you know, we be a good friend and when when I feel um sometimes when, when I even I when I lose lose the tournament, become a second she will like, text me like, Oh, it's okay, you know, you next time it's gonna be yours and I feel like uh that's the person I'm gonna looking for for a long time. Oh, that's nice. That's great. Great answer. Yeah. Yeah, and hopefully, uh, hopefully she comes back healthy, and we can see some own Kristen oh, yeah. oh, battles yeah. down down the stretch. I know that's what we're all looking forward to. So, yeah, well, she, own, she's gonna come back strong. Yeah. Well, I'm glad the storm. It looked like the storm isn't terrible, at least from the window. <laughs> hopefully, it still. <laughs> hopefully, it still stays away for you guys, and you guys are all safe, and uh, you guys have a uh, 
a safe tournament <laughs> leading up to it. Uh, do you want to shout out any sponsors? Any, you know, we got a bunch of people that are big supporters and maybe some new own fans maybe in the chat tonight. Where can they support you? Where they can, where can they find you on social media? All those things. Well, first of all, I want to thank you, you both. You know, I always like listen, you guys here and there. My husband is your big guy. And you guys big fan. I always listen to you guys. And today he's already listened to it. I want to thank you, you guys. You guys do a great show. And if you know people out there not subscribe, come on, subscribe. What are you waiting <laughs> for? You know what I'm saying? Um, so please subscribe them. And of course, thank you, my sponsor, Inoa. Grip, Suga, um, uh, Ideal Shoes, and, you know, all, all kind of that, um, Salty Unicorn, and thank you all my fans out there. Um, I feel a blast. Every time I go play a tournament, I always have a good, like, fan, good people. Like, give me a lot, a lot of love. Like, I just, like, feel it like, over the moon. So I want to thank you and, you know, for love and support. So thanks so much for my heart. That's thank awesome. You. Well, Owen, thank you so much. You're always welcome back uh, whenever you want. So you just let us know. We appreciate you. And uh, we'll be watching you this week. Good luck. And tell your husband thank you so much. I appreciate said that. hi. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell him. He listens to you, right. so thanks, guys. <laughs> I appreciate you. All right. Bye, Owen.